Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, thrift along with me as my husband and I go down to Mankato, Minnesota for a day of thrifting. We hit several thrift stores and a yard sale or two along the way. And then tomorrow for yard sale Sundays, I will show you my haul. If you like this kind of content, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. And as always, find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. Here we go. to do our little thrifting day but we just stopped at a yard sale found a really good find super pumped about it I'm not gonna tell you I'll show you in my haul on our way we're gonna keep stopping at sales as we go it says garage sale oh, that's cute Inside their large outbuilding, they had many treasures from their travels around the world, as well as vintage items. There was copyrighted music playing, so I have to do a voiceover. This little piggy bank was really cute, but banks aren't something that I usually collect. And this little dog planter with the pink ears really caught my eye. I really like vintage planters. Also spotted a flower frog, a glass one, not a metal one, but I thought their prices were so reasonable. They had several vintage children's books for 25 cents a piece. I love to look at these. I love to look at the illustrations. These I believe were discarded from a library or a school. I thought this piece of old fabric was really pretty with its pictures of strawberries and other fruits on it. And then they also had some of these tin TV trays in blue and a pine cone pattern. The pine cone pattern I've actually seen at a yard sale before. Okay, we're still making our way to St. Peter. I think we're somewhere in Ottawa, Minnesota. We don't really know. We just followed signs and found a really great sale in someone's outbuilding. There's my treasures. There's the cute little bridge. This is the Minnesota River and this bridge does flood. So sometimes it's closed, but not today. Get some river shots if you can. Okay, we're stopping at St. Peter Thrift. I'm not gonna take footage inside the store because I was actually just here a week ago and I showed you that footage. I'm not expecting there to be lots new because the turnover in the store is not very quick, but we'll see. Um, but then I'll take footage in the Mankato stores that we go to. Okay, St. Peter Thrift is great. As usual, the people are so lovely. Um, there wasn't a lot of new stuff, but I got some things and we got some free bread because there's free bread every Saturday. So. Okay, we were headed to Dunkin Donuts from St. Peter Thrift and we came upon this sign. It's in the back alley kind of. I've never been on this part of the street before and it says Stone Valley General Store Antiques and more. And on the other side, I think it even says vintage. Let's see. Yeah, vintage, retro and more. Lovely little garden. So we're kind of going up like the back of a building. This store also had copyrighted music going, so I'm going to do a voiceover. The first thing we noticed when we walked in was that there was just an overwhelming amount of stuff. This was an entire shelf of just salt and pepper shakers. 
When I picked up this little Santa salt and pepper shaker and saw that he was $9.99 on his own, I knew that this was probably not my kind of store, but it was still fun to look around. I thought these vintage bobbleheads were really cute. I always like to look at Raggedy Ann and Andy items. They're a throwback to my childhood. I thought this little ceramic figure was pretty cute. They actually had some of these dishes, which are the same as my Taylor Smith and Taylor dishes. So I'm assuming that's the maker on them. They're just a different pattern. And there was some jadeite. I love jadeite, but not for $19.99 for a teacup and saucer. Their vintage ephemera was expensive. $4 a piece for cards is a lot. There's a store that I go to in Hopkins, Minnesota, where I get them for a dollar a piece. I saw this little squirrel figurine, which I absolutely loved. I've been very into squirrels for fall lately. But again, he was $5.50 and it was the beginning of my trip, so I didn't want to spend my whole budget right at the beginning. The vintage Christmas that they had was an okay selection. Uh, again, overpriced and really not anything that I couldn't live without. I really love this old bird cage with the bird that moves back and forth. It would play music and the bird would swing. I couldn't find a price on it, but I was guessing it was probably higher than I wanted to pay, but I did like to look at it. Okay, the Stone Valley General Store had lots of good stuff, but way, way high prices. Well, I think they were just like collector's prices. So you're not gonna find something cool for really cheap in there. She's like charging what the things are worth, which is fine, I mean, that's her business but that's not what I'm in for today so did not buy anything there okay so I dropped Chris off at a comic book store we're in Mankato he's a huge comic book fan so I dropped him off and so I'm all thrifting alone I'm going to go to the Mankato Salvation Army first I have never been here I've only been to one Salvation Army and that's in Minneapolis and it's small and overpriced so hopefully this one will be better unless Salvation Army in general is overpriced i don't really know but we'll see hopefully not as soon as i walked into the salvation army and saw that they had a vintage and antique area i knew i was in trouble so the prices on the vintage antique i mean they weren't they were antique store prices basically they weren't outrageous but definitely not cheap thrift store prices where they don't know what they have except for this little squirrel he was only a dollar i thought he was really cute They had several pieces of Pyrex ranging in price from about $15 to $18. No patterns that I was really interested in. I thought this vintage mixer was super adorable. Again, I don't have anywhere to put it, but that would look really fun in someone's vintage farmhouse kitchen. I love this little donkey. I don't know why. I just thought he was really cute and funny looking. Does anyone know anything about him? Because I didn't. Loved these teacups, loved the pattern on them, but they were $2.50 a piece, and I am definitely able to find cute teacups for less. And this shaker, I wanted to take it home, but $5.50, ah, I think I can find it cheaper somewhere else. Probably the most interesting thing we saw that day was this collection of vintage enamelware bedpans. I have never seen any, and they had three. Okay, so I definitely thought they were overpriced. 
So maybe that's just a thing for Salvation Army. They had a, like a curated area where they had a lot of, I guess, the things that they considered vintage or valuable, and those were really like antique store prices. And then even the things on the shelves, I mean, there were some okay prices, but for the most part, I just felt like, nah, nah. No, these are not thrift store prices. So next I'm gonna go to Hop's thrift store. I've never been there before. And then I'm gonna go to Vine thrift store. I've been there before and I've liked it. And then possibly the Mankato Restore. So Hop's was a strange little store. It's actually in a garage and it kind of smells like a garage, like that oil kind of machine kind of smell. Um, but not a lot in there for me. It's a nice store if you collect like matchbox or beer cans things like that but they did have an odd little section of housewares which actually had some cute things so i did pick up a few things for pretty really cheap prices actually so okay so now i'm going to go on to vine it's specializing store. in what guys want so there you go that was not on their google ad so i did not know that but but that was funny and now I'm at Vine Thrift Store. I have definitely been here before and I think I liked it. I think this is where I found my first glass flower frog. It was cheap. I'm gonna see if there's any others hiding. This store is great if you're looking for old artwork or frames. I didn't take footage of it, but they, this wall behind these picture frames is a whole wall with wall art that's hung up. And then they are really well organized. Like this is their floral and vase section. This is where I had found the flower frogs previously. I did not find any on this trip. Loved this old green trunk, but I really don't have anywhere for it right now. Love these two old high chairs. I wonder if someone had twins, maybe a boy and a girl. Their glassware is really well displayed on these open shelves and their prices are so low. Here's some thrift store regret. I do not know why I didn't pick up this set. I think the pieces were 50 cents a piece. What was I thinking? I loved this small aluminum tidbit tray that I found. It was in a pattern that I haven't seen before. And I think they were only asking, yeah, 50 cents. It was really pretty and in very good shape. I didn't see a mark on it. Hey look, another plastic Lazy Susan, just like the one I DIY'd recently. For two bucks, mine was cheaper at the bins though. <laughs> Nothing super interesting in their Pyrex and glass bake area. But again, the prices were very good. But this little, I don't even know what it was, some kind of baker was cool. Little cornflower blue. I always like to check out the vintage fabric area. I'm pretty sure my grandma had a pair of pants out of this pink plaid fabric. They had some peach and blue luster wear. I like this plate, but I didn't like the red and green in the center. And I'm really trying to be very choosy about the pieces that I bring home because I don't want to have a huge collection. That plate was $2. And then I saw one above it that was a very pretty print with a bird and some flowers. 
and that plate was only 50 cents. We are at our last stop. I have collected Chris. He was at some comic book stores in downtown Mankato. So this is gonna be our last stop. And, cause I had to rule one out and I actually like this one better than the again thrift store. We've been to that together and we weren't super fans. So we'll go in and see what they have. So really liked this old section plate and thought about buying it to resell it, but it was super heavy and I was worried the shipping would be really high. I also thought this plate was really pretty and none of the rolls petals were broken but it was $4 and I honestly don't know how well they sell and it seemed like it might be hard to ship it and not break the flower, but maybe one of you has some insight. You know I love squirrels and so this old plant waterer, I guess you put water in it and then you stick it in a pot was really neat. These are cutie. This is a cutie little thing. Left and, what is it for? Oh, toothbrushes? Must be. Is that a toothbrush holder? What'd you say? What are these little tins? Okay, this one's modern. It's adorable. Little duck. It's not the right blue. Oh my gosh. I love that. It's pink. What about it? I, I love the color. It's made in England. I love the florals. It just captures what I'm trying to do in my craft room. Love it. Midwest Realty and Mortgage and Cato. Oh my gosh, what is this? Four dollars. I do not want to pay that much, but it is pretty. It looks similar to that pink one that I have. Why do I love it? I don't know. Why do you love comic books? Hmm. The shelves are different. Dots are cute. Is this a cherished teddy? No. Cherished teddy still. Yeah, it's called galvanized. See, Chris has a good eye. He likes this. Probably fashion something similar with Dollar Tree stuff. That's cute. The little bee. These are these are a thing. Okay, that was our last stop. MRCI. I thought they had good prices. What did you think? Yeah, they were good. I got a book for fifty cents. I just got a book. That was good. And overall, like some of their prices were a little high, but for the most part, I thought they were pretty good, but not as good as Vine. Vine wins the prize for the best, best thrift of the day. You weren't at that one. So. Yep. All right. So haul video to follow. Have a good day.